Yeah, because 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 I know both of them, and it's my house, mm -hmm. and I'm allowed to get my house wherever I want to get my house. Sure. So that's number one. Number two is the allegations against Diddy continue to pile up as he faces accusations of influencing Rihanna to stay with Chris Brown, despite Brown's past violent behavior towards her. Diddy, who was Chris's mentor at the time, allegedly used his industry power to pressure Rihanna into maintaining her relationship with Brown, even after he assaulted her. These claims emerged in a recent lawsuit against Diddy, where Chris Brown was also implicated as a regular attendee of Diddy's parties, which were described as involving questionable activities. Additionally, Diddy is facing another lawsuit from producer Lil Rod, who accuses him of inappropriate touching and attempting to coerce him into participating in similar parties. Lil Rod further claims that Diddy drugged his drinks drinks during these encounters. These ongoing allegations paint a troubling picture of Diddy's behavior and the environment surrounding his social gatherings. In the latest development, Diddy's sons Justin and Christian Combs, along with Young Miami, have been implicated in the ongoing controversy. Lil Rod claims to have witnessed Justin, Christian, and Diddy engaging in inappropriate behavior with girls brought to the party by Young Miami. Accompanying his allegations are photos of Diddy and his sons at the events. Adding to the scandal, Diddy allegedly mentioned to Lil Rod that Meek Mill and Usher were under his control, referring to them as his boy toys. He also recounted incidents involving Stevie J, implying exchanges of favors for accolades like Grammy Awards. The lawsuit takes a darker turn when Lil Rod mentions Chris Brown without explicitly naming him, but providing enough details for identification. He describes a Grammy-winning R.B. singer with a history of legal issues stemming from assaulting Rihanna, who is described as a billionaire from Barbados, matching Chris Brown's and Rihanna's public profiles. These revelations deepen the complexity of the allegations surrounding Diddy and his associates. The situation surrounding Chris Brown's assault on Rihanna in 2009 has resurfaced amidst the recent allegations against Diddy. It's been revealed that Diddy had a role in that incident, given his close relationship with Chris at the time. This raises concerns about individuals influenced by Diddy, considering the troubling revelations about him. Unfortunately, Rihanna, unaware of these red flags, experienced a traumatic event when she dated Chris. The altercation between Rihanna and Chris in 2009 turned violent, as detailed in the police report. Chris repeatedly assaulted Rihanna, causing severe damage to her face and arm while driving. The altercation escalated, with Chris putting Rihanna in a headlock, causing her to lose consciousness. The detective handling the case mentioned that Chris even threatened to harm her further. This incident had a profound impact on Rihanna's life, highlighting the seriousness of the situation and the need for accountability. In the midst of the turmoil, Diddy inserted himself into the situation and pressured Rihanna to reconcile with Chris, despite his past actions. He even offered his mansion as a place for both of them to stay and work through their issues. Rihanna, feeling uneasy about the arrangement but lacking confidence to object, found herself in a challenging position. Being a young immigrant navigating Hollywood, she hesitated to upset someone as influential as Diddy. The news broke when Rihanna and Chris were spotted at Diddy's Miami mansion, with Chris seemingly carefree despite the serious nature of his previous assault on Rihanna. This move sparked public outrage towards Diddy for manipulating Rihanna into giving Chris another chance and potentially endangering her safety by putting them under the same roof. Diddy responded to the backlash by claiming he was simply trying to help and asserting his right to do as he pleases with his property without needing to justify his actions to anyone. Well, this leads me to the perfect thing, because I would like you to clear something up. There's yes. a lot of uh, talk going on with oh. Chris Brown being at your place in Miami, mm -hmm. and you arranging Chris and Rihanna getting yeah. back together. Why would you give Chris, a guy who hit a girl, and he's jet skiing around in your, you know, I, I just, I don't understand, because, I mean, listen, I, yeah, I yeah. was a huge fan of Chris's, yeah. I love Chris, his music, he's a talented guy, but but to hit a girl... Yeah, because because, because I know both of them, and it's my house, mm -hmm. and I'm allowed to get my house wherever I want to get my house, sure. so that's number one. Number two is that I, I'm the type of person that I 
don't cast a stone or cast a judgment on anybody. Mm -hmm. And so if a friend or friends ask me for a favor, then I'm going to be there for a favor as long as I know that the energy of the favor is positive for two people to sit down and talk about a situation at their end. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get involved in it. I'm not going to pass judgment on it. If I could be there as a friend during hard times, mm -hmm. then I'm going to be there as a friend. Right. But I don't know the exact particulars. I didn't get into it. I'm not going to do this or do that. It's, it was a dark, it's a dark time for them, and I was there more as a support. That right. was it. I think you were coming from a, a place of, of a friendship mm -hmm. and, and, and of kindness and support. And I, you know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's hard for me, and, and I don't believe in judgment either, but I don't want any girl out there thinking it's okay to go back to a guy who hit her. Yeah, I don't want yeah, any girl I, to think I, I don't. The public's response to the allegations against Diddy has been varied and complex. While some individuals have expressed empathy towards those impacted by Diddy's actions, there is also a growing demand for accountability and justice. Rapper 50 Cent's reported involvement in creating a documentary focusing on individuals who have faced challenges due to their association with Diddy, such as Tupac Shakur, the notorious B.I.G., Kim Porter and Cassie, highlights the gravity of the situation. The prospect of shedding light on these experiences through a documentary adds another layer of intrigue and attention to the ongoing controversy. Furthermore, disturbing allegations have emerged regarding Diddy's alleged involvement with Meek Mill, Usher and Chris Brown in activities involving underage girls. These accusations have evoked widespread outrage and disbelief, prompting a deeper examination of Diddy's behavior and influence within the industry. The severity of these claims has left many members of the public stunned and dismayed, questioning the extent of Diddy's involvement and the potential ramifications. Furthermore, disturbing allegations have emerged regarding Diddy's alleged involvement with Meek Mill, Usher and Chris Brown in activities involving underage girls. These accusations have evoked widespread outrage and disbelief, prompting a deeper examination of Diddy's behavior and influence within the industry. The severity of these claims has left many members of the public stunned and dismayed, questioning the extent of Diddy's involvement and the potential ramifications. Of particular concern is Diddy's alleged role in pressuring Rihanna to reconcile with Chris Brown, despite the history of domestic violence between them. This aspect of the controversy has sparked intense scrutiny and debate, with calls for thorough investigation and accountability for Diddy's actions. The implications of Diddy's influence on such sensitive matters have ignited impassioned discussions online, with individuals expressing a range of opinions and perspectives on social media platforms. As the situation continues to unfold, it remains a focal point of public attention and discourse, with many eager for transparency and justice to prevail.